Yeah, y'all not paying attention. And he came up, baby. Let's go. Hi, right, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy J Village, bro. Today we're running up my hero academia, bro. So last episode they dropped us with some knowledge, bro. We got to know, we got to know really Hawk's intentions, bro. I thought my guy was evil and was on some slime shit, but judging by the backstory, he seems like dude's gonna be on our side, bro. Cause, cause he's technically a double agent. But I, but I stay with my prediction, bro. If you stay around people for long enough, you're gonna become bad, bro. I feel like he's gonna become homies with these people, and it's gonna be like he's gonna have to choose a side eventually. Either he goes with the the freaking League of Villains, or he comes back with, or he comes back. With with us right now we are on the slow end of the story i'm sure it's gonna wrap up in the next couple of episodes but yeah if you enjoy this type of content leave your boy a like subscribe let's get right into the video bro all for one has been an evil dude his whole life bro but now the people about the people before deku are so look saucy as hell bro yeah bro you better get shook because you know it's that guy he always cheesing too, bro. That's a funny thing, bro. My guy is a freaking a jerk. He he's charming though. My guy got a cool ass voice, bro. He could get anybody to join him. Bro I said, "I'll change your reality, bro. You don't come with me, and I'm gonna make you come with me, bro." Pause. What is that? The transferring of, of freaking skills. That go about to wake up sweaty as hell from his bed. <laughs> and right there, that's when he woke up last episode. What is that, bro? The singularity point. What is he talking about? Is that something I didn't pick up in the story? But what is the singularity point? Is there a point of no return? Like, he can't give the quirk away? I don't know what they're talking about. Singularity point. What, we going out for a morning jog, bro? Where we going? Deku always working, bro. I, I love this dude's freaking mentality. My guys all work all the time. You probably see Bakugo out there. There's no way Bakugo is not out there running with him. Yeah, that wasn't a, a dream. It, it was probably you inside there, bro. Like another dimension or something. Or a LinkedIn like spirit or something like that. That dude with the freaking yellow up there, bro, he looks hella dope. I wonder what's his quirk. The sun is coming up. The symbolism. Something, something new is coming up, bro. A new skill. A new entity, a new dimension, science pulling up. Oh, he he's talking about that this happened to him before. You the first person to be able to speak to the first wielder. Wow. Of course, Deku going to be the sauciest one of them all. Oh, we can always meet in one for all. So yeah, he could he could go back and talk to all the weirders, and they could all give him a little bit of sauce of of their skills. So that'd be dope as hell. Exact. Oh, okay, okay. Those dudes were a blur. What do you mean? So they were just like before this dude. relatively new how new would those wielders be because it was it was the one before all might the girl and now deku so was there people in between that process or what it wouldn't be like that right so those two probably came before the the girl the racer her looking high as hell always bro where the edibles at bro i got swallowed a couple edibles over there Hey, my guy. The guy that's destined to be a villain, bro. I remember him from the freaking festival. We're gonna get to work. Let's get some freaking stuff going. Class A versus Class B. 
Let me get a taste of it, please. Let me get a taste of it today, please. The whole squad is here, bro. Is it gonna be one on ones or is it a, a group battle? Like, what are we doing? I Loki wanted it to be a group battle, cause, cause I want to see how everybody works, like mesh together. Now that we've been working together for so damn long. Hey, Bakugo, my guy looking saucy as hell, bro. He got a new fit on. Oh, so he could sweat more. That's why he's wearing that jacket. What, the thing on his legs? Oh, the gloves. Yeah, the the, thing, the flick thing that he does now. Everybody bossed up and switched up on their swag, bro. I love to see it. I want to see Bakugo's gloves in, in, in freaking mix right now. There go Uraraka, bro. Why are you wilding, bro? Confess your love already. Who is that belly button dude? Oh no, that's class that's class B coming up. I got my money on class 1A, bro. We saw CS out, but let's see how they look. We haven't seen them all fight together in a while. I already see my Ooh, look at that dude right there, bro. He looks saucy as hell. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, everybody looks saucy as hell in Class B, too. We've met a lot of these people. Oh, yes. We all about to get our one on, bro. Let's get it. I hope it's a group battle, though. No, I, I don't want no freaking single battle stuff. Why he look like the freaking the duct tape dude? Yo, he looks so saucy with the freaking bandana on his eyes or the paper on his eyes. Join combat training. Let's go. Exactly. Relax, bro. You're talking too much. If if I'm him, we already know that his quirk is like if he touches somebody, he could steal their quirk. He will, will mimic it. I will mimic somebody's thing before we get in there. Definitely Bakugo's quirk. Hey, my guy Shinzo. Let's go, bro. That's the dude that he, if he like looking into his eyes or he, if, no, no, if he gives you a demand and you do it and he gets you in his trance. I remember him. Let's go, bro. What team is he going to, though? 1A or 1B? Oh, he dressed up like freaking eraser hair, bro. So he better have eraser head squad. Is eraser head like training my guy? Eraser head is really training my dude. That is fuck. That is that is so wavy, bro. We know eraser head can stop people's quirks. Oh, th oh, that was the first time we seen them. Hey, that's a good bring back, bro. I remember that. Let's go, bro. I'm rooting for you, my guy. Ooh. I'm going to go through all y'all bums, bro. We're going to be classmates, but I'm going to whoop your ass, bro. Let's go. I'm rooting for you, Shinzo. I like that little, like that little moment, bro. That like homage for what you did back in the day. Teams of four. So we know we got Deku, Electricity Dude, and Iron Dude. Who else are they bringing them with them? I'm, I, I want to follow that squad ahead of because they're hella in sync. Also, that's the first time that Deku's going to fight with him again, bro. Let's go. They really get matched up again, again, bro. I'm sure he, we both got better. So let's see how much better Shinzo got. We know Shinzo been freaking, he got the band, so he been working with Erasurehead. All right, so let's get this W team, eh, bro? We've been working too damn hard to lose a team B. Not right now, not ever. Let's go. 
Exactly. They didn't have to get. They didn't have to deal with actual villains. They were doing their work. Experience always wins, bro. So Team A is gonna get it. We got too much experience with real villains, and actually trying to hurt each other. Oh yeah, remember he got he got Molly walked by her the first time. She, I was okay. That's the freaking wood girl, right? Yeah, y'all not paying attention, and he came up, baby. Let's go. Hey, some Kirishima, you better get in with this dude, bro. We, you know the villain that we went up before. We can max this dude out. Come on, Shinzo, where you at, bro? Don't let this dude keep talking. Give him a command. Oh, so he smelled us out. Beast. That's a fire ass quirk. Can he go down though? Can he turn back to regular? Okay, it's the beast for him, so he could turn back to normal. Who's that? What's his quirk? Well, he throws webs? Air prison. There goes one. They got one person captured. What is he doing with that? Shinzo, show me your close combat. How did you brainwash him? How did he brainwash him, though? Oh! Persona chords? Oh, yes! So he don't even have to speak out loud? That is overpowered! He don't even have to speak out loud now! Say word! Alright, so this episode was wavy, bro. I thought my guy Shinzo was gonna get rendered useless this fight. Because we know if that he gives somebody a command and I think if they respond to it, then they get controlled by his brainwash quirk. But now he got this new mask thing that I guess he can make commands or do something like probably at a lower frequency or a higher frequency that they can't hear it. And my guy caught got, got, got caught slipping. He brainwashed the dude on his back, then made the dude on his back give the guy, give the beast dude a command, and then that's how he brainwashed him. That, bro, big brains out here. I, I like Shinzu. And he hasn't even used the bands on his shoulders, bro. If he's anything close to eraser hair, bro, my guy is gonna mollywop hella people in this freaking test. Because we know how eraser hair could hold people down, mollywop them, get them with the hands. And now this dude got this brainwash quirk. He's literally Eraserhead 2.0. Eraserhead can get rid of your quirk. And some people still have their intention to fight. But with his brainwash thing, he can literally just be like, oh, sit your ass down, bro. We're not fighting no more with his brainwash quirk. Unless they do what Deku did and like hurt himself and snapped himself out of it. But that was with the help of the freaking shadows that we just, they just brought back and reminded us about. But yeah, we finally getting into the sauce, bro. We finally getting into the action. I'm sure from here on out, it's all gonna be freaking class fights. I wanna see Bakugo, bro. Bakugo got a new fit on. I'm sure his... His sweat explosions are stronger. We already know Bakugo is one of my favorite characters. So yeah, if you enjoy this type of content, leave your boy and like, subscribe. Peace.